Welcome. This Blue Water Trader video is going to further discuss the charting functionality within the software. The first video covered chart properties, some customization, how to add and remove views. This one is going to cover some additional functions in there. So from the symbol manager, I'm going to go right click on my product, go to charts, standard, and price volume to get a new chart. It rebuilt there. So I have a five minute candlestick and then a volume study below it. And I want to just cover some of the other basic options that are available here and some of the other basic functions. So if I right click, I have up top, my first choice is trade chart. And this is where I can take a standard chart and turn it into a trade chart on the fly if I'd like to. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and left click on SIM. So I've added an execution control over here on the right edge of my chart. At that point, I can select an account enter in a lot size, right click again, and switch to trade mode. And now I could start placing orders on this chart if I choose. I could also take that away. So first I'll switch to chart mode. I'll right click again, go to trade chart, and select off, and I've removed that now. So that's how you can take a regular chart and turn it into a trade chart on the fly if I right click again, modify quantity has to do with changing the size of an order when I am using a trade chart. Chart studies is where you can go in and add in additional chart indicators or studies in there. That's something we'll cover further in the future. If I right click once more, chart properties we covered in the first section. This is where we can customize the chart, change basic settings. If I right click once more here in the bar pane and I choose this option here, study info on or off, it'll add some additional visual information for me. So I'll left click on study info. Now on the upper left, I've got a bar data section. So as I move my cursor over different bars, I can see information about each one, open, high, low, close, volume, and so forth. I can do it in any one of the views where I have information populated. So down here in the volume study, if I right click, select study info, I'll get a readout here as well. And it'll show me the quantity in each bar as I scroll over the different volume, right clicking again. In the chart section of the menu, I can go ahead and I can save a chart template. So once I spend time to, to customize a chart, I can save it as a template if I'd like and then open it again to create another instance or against another market. So I've made a couple of changes here. If I right click, go to chart and save chart template, I'll get a basic save dialog where I can give it a name. My price volume it can be whatever you want. It just has to mean something to you. Click save. Now, if I go back to my symbol manager right now, I've got this open against the ZN, but I could pick out another market. So I'm going to go to the Dow charts, templates. And now I have that new label that I created my price volume. If I left click on that one, it's going to open up a new chart, same style that I created, but for the Dow instead. So now I have a new template that I created and that I opened it up against a different market. Another aspect of the charting that you'll use is some scaling options. So there are some basic scaling options that I can use on the fly here. If I put my cursor on the vertical price list and I left click and move up or down, I can change the bar height. I can expand or contract the height of the bars on the fly. At the bottom of the chart where the time and date stamps are, if I left click and I drag left to right, I can expand or contract the width of the bars. There are some other scaling options available back in the chart properties that correspond to that as well. So if I right click and go to chart properties and I select one of these view tabs, I can check out the scaling for that particular pane. So view zero is my bar pane 
And this section here on the right is where I have some scaling information. Auto scale access is on by default. That just means it's going to automatically scale in terms of the price action in the chart at the time that it builds. If I wanted to, I can force it into a particular increment. If I uncheck this box and then go to fixed access increment, I can input the number of ticks or price levels that I want to be reflected in the scale. So for instance, I could put it to two, click OK, and then it will reflect that increment. Every two ticks, it'll show it there to me. Otherwise, if I want to go to chart properties again, to view, I can go back to the basic auto scale. And then one other option that I'll show that relates to this from the right click menu is if I've taken some time and scaled it, it looks odd and I just want to get back to a standard view, I can right click. Down at the bottom here, I have center view. If I left click on that, it'll just recenter the price action in terms of a way that it'll fill a pane. The way it would populate if I had just opened up this chart. So we've covered most of the choices here. Market profile, specific to market profile charts. View, add view and remove view is how we can add or remove those panes. Drawing tools is another item that will be discussed down the road. Center view we just did to bring it back in terms of the current price action. The last one in the right click menu here is to rebuild the chart. So if there were some anomaly in the bar pattern that I saw or I felt I missed data or I wanted to make sure it were good, I can left click it'll quickly rebuild the bars and reformat them to correct any anomalies. So those are some other basic settings in the charts. Look for additional videos that'll get further into the chart functionality like into studies and drawing tools.